Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's half past five this morning. Gonna do some more spraying. Um, just discovered that uh, the this is full. It only had one load left in it. But I'm pretty sure because we had so much rain, the spouting's right there. It's it's filled it up when it's overflowing. <laughs> so I'm gonna put all of that into the tank, and then I'm gonna mix up some more, and we'll carry on spraying. So that's the plan. You're not going to be able to see me, but uh, this morning, but you can see the moon actually. Um, it's overcast, lightly overcast, not real bad, no wind. Fairly warm too, actually, not real cold, and well, no frost. Um, so we've had, we ended up having about 140 mils of rain all up. Yesterday we didn't get a lot, uh, just a few showers. So the cows actually stayed on, gave them a big break after I took them off the yard from the previous video so yeah uh, they would have been happy to stay in the paddock so yeah we'll uh, get on with spraying alright so I've just loaded up my second load so it took about half an hour for this to dissolve um, for anyone that's interested and uh, after doing the last spraying video I actually uh, worked out how much it was costing me to spray on the gibberellic acid and urea uh, I didn't factor in anything for the Prasai because I thought that was extra um, it's quite expensive the Prasai I would need to actually go and find out how much it was oh, yeah I can't remember now but um, the gibberellic, and, gibberellic acid and urea is costing me $15.50 a hectare to spray it um, so that's pretty cheap because uh, on marketplace I inquired about some dissolved or some liquid nitrogen which had some seaweed and some other minerals and things in it um, it had a higher dose of urea or nitrogen um, but it worked out it being 90 um, $98 a hectare, I believe. Um, so, this, how I'm doing it is far cheaper. Um, yeah, there's no point even looking at doing anything like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, anyone that's interested. Right, so, we'll get on and spray this next load. So, I don't have anything against that um, liquid nitrogen that was being sold on uh, Trade Me. It just doesn't suit what we're doing at the time. Um, there's a potential to buy it and dilute it, but um, yeah, we might as well just carry on doing what we're doing. It just it's uh, simple and easy. Well, even the best of us make mistakes. I forgot to unhook this hose and drove away with it attached. I wonder what the water was before. Snapped it off like a Oh well, I'll carry on.
So for those that have been watching for a while would know that um, we've got 16 cows down here with the calves and uh, these were our skinniest cows. Put them down here hoping to put a bit of weight on them um, and they've actually turned out really good. She looks really good. You can see the, the rounded pins nicely rounded. Uh, our skinniest one, she, well, she might be springing up, we might need to take one back, she looks like she is isn't she, might be a job for tomorrow. Number 80. She's not the lightest one, but she's looking good too. She's got a bit of meat on her short ribs. But she's actually springing up. I need to get her back. Won't be today though. Calves looking good too. We actually had one die yesterday. I came down, I attempted to bury it. Um, it died from a twisted gut. So that's not very good. Uh, there wasn't a lot we could do for it. Vet came out and look, pretty much died in our arms when we were trying to fix it. So she's looking pretty good, another cow. So these here were the lightest cows and they're actually, they're really nice. So this one here was the skinniest and she's always quite skinny. Um, but she's actually looking pretty good. See, she's got a bit of fat around her tail there, which is quite rare to see on her. A little bit on her short ribs. Yeah, well done, girl. Right, better feed out some hay and go and shift the beefies. It's actually not a bad uh, morning this morning. Apart from being overcast, it's actually very still and mild. So today's the 14th of July and currently we've got no cows in. Uh, none I've calved, we have one slip that I know of. Um, but that's quite rare for us. We are starting calving on the 25th. Normally we'd have a few in, or normally at least have one or two. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. There are a few springing, so I would say over the next few days we'll probably see some calving. So yeah, they're pretty happy. They're enjoying life at the minute. Alright, so gave the cows quite a big break, like the other mob. Um, you can see it's quite a big area. It's quite wet down in here, so there's actually not too much damage. Uh, there's probably enough on this side here for two days, but we'll just um, see how they are tomorrow when I come back. Might try and stretch them out till midday tomorrow, just to get a bit, uh, bit longer out of this break. Um, yeah, but so no calves, still no calves, so that's good. Um, there's a few springing. One along the fence there, 
just along the fence, she's springing. Um, so we'll probably see some calves over the next couple of days. Um, yeah, but otherwise, uh, we're heading out for the day, so I'm gonna head home now and uh, we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. So yeah, thanks for watching, see ya.